Chapter 54 Worms in My Belly Are you sure you don't want us to come with you? Mum standing at the kitchen table with a concerned look, like when Leo, my gerbil, died. Because I would like to, she continues. Dad said he's cleared the day. Has he? Have you? I say, surprised as Dad walks in. He's not taken a day off since Christmas. Yes, matey, he says, the whole day. See, think yourself lucky, says Mum, smoothing down the lapels on my blazer. He didn't even do that for our 10th wedding anniversary. Well, I tried, Dad says sheepishly, but Rovers were in the playoff finals at Wembley. Hmm, Mum gives him a look like she still hasn't forgiven him. Anyway, she stops smoothing my blazer to straighten my tie. I think we should come. No, Mum, I say, you really don't have to. I'll be fine, and I know you're both busy. Okay, she says, smiling. But this time, win or lose, when you get back, we are definitely celebrating in Nando's. Okay, I say, I'll do that. But Mum, that's too tight. I loosen my tie. Mum would normally tell me off for getting stroppy with her, but she just stands there smiling with her head tilted, like when she's thinking of buying a dress in town. I glance at Dad and see him smiling too. What, I say, what have I done now? Nothing, says Dad. Then why are you both acting weird? We're not, says Mum, edging towards me. We're just very proud of you, she sniffs. Oh, Mum, I say, you're not going to cry, are you? Dad puts his arm around her. No, she's fine, he says, squeezing her. You go and get your bag and I'll take you to school now. Is Jake ready? Yes, I say. He messaged six times already. I turn into the hallway and take my bag off the banister. I know mum and dad are only trying to help and I'm glad Jake and Rebecca are going, but the person I most want to be there is granddad. Last night, he said he wouldn't wave me off because he wanted me to focus on the last move he taught me, the Yugoslav attack. Like all the other moves, it was complicated, but I went over and over it in my head before I went to sleep last night. And I memorised Grandad's last words. You are ready. I hear the jangle of Dad's car keys. Ready, champ, he says. I open the front door and walk out onto the path. The sun shines brightly in the square and the houses. Everything is quiet and still, like everyone is still in bed. I look past our tree at Grandad's house. Samson is sitting by the front door and all of the house's curtains are closed. Out of the corner of my eye, I catch Jake running, cutting across the grass. I focus on Grandad's house again. You are ready, he says in my head. I nod slowly. Yes, Grandad, I think I am.